Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Blackreach, it's the Skyrim, sorry. It's just been a lot of Blackreach lately, but this is the final clearing episode after a brief tour to the surface for some fresh air and blizzards and death. We're back down here for mushrooms and death. I've stepped back into Cinderian's laboratory for a few reasons. One is that I've been curious about mixing Crimson Nernroot and Nernroot because that should teach me quite a few properties. Indeed, we discover all of these effects, which is great for our completion, and we get a potion which grants us invisibility, also damages our stamina, gives us resist magic, and damages our health, so, you know. And now we need to find another Crimson Urn route, but that's fine, because we're going to be spending some more quality time down here. Now, somebody pointed out that there is actually an extra attunement sphere sitting right next to Cinderian's knapsack, which is pretty cool. And, oh, there's a fork here. You know what? I'll take it. And a Briar Heart on the ground, which is an ingredient that I don't think we've gotten before. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. tasty. That's what I do when I <laughs> find a heart lying around. Poor Cinderian, though. All right. If you guys remember, when we first came down to Blackreach, there is something not too far from Cinderian's labs, which we have to face. There's still some Centurions standing around, and it wouldn't be a proper clear if we didn't deal with them, huh? So... <sighs> Alright, mister. What do you got here? You do got something. Steel Horned Helmet. Have I gotten that yet? Steel Mace of Ice. Ooh, that might actually be better than what I currently have. High chill, a dwindling shock, push the magic, a gold necklace. We have an orcish mace, but the enchantment doesn't really help us. It's that undead flea. Dude, that would hella take a steel maze of ice. All right, great start, great start. And that's now going to be on one. Excellent. I was also informed that I don't have to release them with a lever. I can also do it with a sneak attack. Not that I'm known for my... Great sneak attack skills, but... Where's Stemvar? Oh no, Stemvar always gets stuck here. All right. I'm gonna wait around. There we go, he's here. Whew. You ready, Stemvar? <coughs> I have no vegetable soups. So we can't just block spam him, but we have to do this, so... Let's do a proper... That's... <laughs> Mr. Fire bless me. Flame is here. Actually here, not on the other side of the map. Get you all done, and... A doink! Oh boy, that did not go well. Okay. Well, now it's up to our friends. And us, of course, we help. Dormant Centurion does resist frost damage, though. So that's good. That's very nice. But it's fine. It's not a huge damage difference between the Steel Mage and an Orcish. Oh boy, I have no stamina. I keep forgetting I have no stamina. This is pretty good though. He seems to struggle to hit me with the steam when I'm behind all of these pipes. Funnily enough. All right, where's Flamey? Flamey's dead. Wow. Flamey went down real fast, so we're gonna do Oak Flesh again. What is on seven for me? That is Fury. I never use Fury, so I'm gonna change that over to Oak Flesh since I use that a lot more. Misfire blessed me. So far, so good. As long as we don't draw too much attention, Stemvar stays up, Flamey decides to not be a complete idiot, we'll be okay. There are a couple of places down here we want to check out. Firstly, I believe there are two Centurions that we have to take care of, this being one of them. Another mighty foe we have to face. And we have to clear the War Quarters, the Reeking Tower, the Silent Ruin, and find Mesinkaleft's Great Lift and Entrance. And that should pretty much be it. Then we can get out of here. Amethyst. Elven Arrows. Grand Soul Gem. Pretty cool stuff overall. Alright. We'll leave him be. And we will continue on. We are mighty, mighty. Mighty, mighty foes. We're foes of our foes. You know, the foe of my foe is me. Good money for a pint of ale to warm my bones. He gets chilly easily. Should I buy him a sweater? I feel like, or a scarf. A scarf would be real. I, I think a scarf would look great on you, Stembar. 
Maybe not while you're in that getup, but there's something to it. All right, we are here. First stop, the war quarters. Let's see how much war are in these quarters. All right, flame at the ready. Miss Fire, bless me. Some candles. Uh, who maintains these? Ooh, cool. Hello. This might just be abandoned, actually. Hey, I'm all for that. Any goods, though? Oh, this is trash. Trash, trash, trash. Might be goods at the end. Ooh. Yeah, nobody's here. Got a double bed, though. Sleep on the stone bed. Mmm. As tempting as that is. I value my back. Come on, soldier. I'm gold. Necklace of... Is that a necklace of blocking? Dude, I am so down. I don't even have... I mean, I have ammo of RK. RK is good, but... Man, I'll take a necklace of blocking any day. Circlet of illusions on gold. Hide armor of minor alteration. Lockpick, potion stamina, and a ruby. Good haul. All right, war quarters cleared. Told you it was going to be quick. Not a single enemy. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, essentially... We are now in, like, the... Uh, we're on the right side of Black Ridge. I can pull up a map, okay? We're currently here. The places we have to hit are the Reeking Tower, the Silent Ruin, and get to Masinka Left. And that's really what we need to do. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. How do we get there? Well, we start walking uh, with my invisible torch. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready to fist bump people. There we go. That's better. There's natural light down here. Don't need a torch very much. Oh, Mistfire, bless me. Let's hope Stemvar can stay on our tail, too. Man, oh man, I'm excited to just wrap this up and continue. On to the next arc. I've been doing these last three episodes in one go. It's a Sunday morning, still in my pajamas, but I'm just enjoying this journey so much. I want to keep playing. I want to keep seeing where it goes. We gotta make sure we find another Crimson Nurn route before we end, though. That is going to be rather important. Now, I remember the Reeking Tower being surrounded by cobwebs across the water. So we will cross over here. We're starting to know Black Reach pretty well by now. It's definitely. We could write a little guide, you know, a tourist guide to Black Reach. <laughs> the do's and the don'ts. Mostly the don'ts. There are a lot of don'ts. Very few do's. That Stember will catch up. He always appears when I need him most. We could go around here. And... Nose is pinched, everybody! We're going into Reeking Tower. What do we got? We got eggs! Did I really just... Oh, right, I was gonna say. Do I just have places left without enemies? Well, we got a couple of spiders. That's something. That's something. Badoosh, 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 badoosh. Yeah. It's always fun to hang out with you guys. But, Flamey can deal with you. I'm too busy to babysit right now. Instead, oh, of course. Badoosh. Yeah, I'm liking this enchantment. Sit down. Can a spider sit? Hmm. Oh, this mummified man's not doing too well. We dealt with all the spiders up here. Any goods? No treasure. Don't get no. too far ahead. How about you keep up, huh? I wouldn't get this far ahead if you don't get stuck on. It's fine. It's fine, Dark. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think that was Reeking Tower. Yay! We're going down. Where are we now? Oh, right. Ooh, fitting. This is the place where we were ambushed by that spider from above. Oh, speaking of spiders from above, here's the brother. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. This is poison area. Do I have Saver's Hide on? I don't, obviously. Why would I? That makes absolutely no sense. Okay. I am going to take this Crimson Nurn route, though. And there we go, we got all 30 Nurn Roots again. Excellent. 
I just saw that making that potion as a quick way of... Don't... Yeah, got him. Very good. Just in time. Reeking Tower. All done. Next up, the Silent Ruin, which should be what we're seeing down there. So, let's make our way down. Break our legs on the way. Just for good luck. Just for good luck. Ooh, another one. I'll pick another one. I'm not gonna pass it up. Okay. Shh. We gotta be very quiet in here, okay? As we can see, we have a Crimson Nern Root. Oh, sorry. Okay, um, that's exactly what you don't want to do. No. <gasps> okay, that was bad, but it's okay. Uh, we're not going to step in that trap twice. That's silly. So we're going to take the book and place it over there instead. Huh? Stand by. Shh. Fine. What? You need to pick up this what? book over here. Right here. Will do. Yeah. Good boy. That it? Should be it. I don't see any librarians we can probably talk. Any Dwemer plates? Oh, I do know of one librarian who might be watching this, actually. Gold and a ruby. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And out we go! That was... <laughs> silent ruin. Well, it was indeed a silent ruin. Still managed to kill me. Okay, Centurion boy! Alright, he's nothing. He's nothing. I laugh at him. Ha! Ha, I say. Gold ruby necklace, ring of conjuration, and scroll of hysteria. Pretty interesting. Stembar with me? Oh, I haven't even walked that far. Come on, Stembar. Stembar. If this cold numbs my fingers any worse, I'll scarcely be able to hold a weapon. Shh, Stembar! Shh! We have bigger problems than a Centurion. <laughs> Miss Fire Bless me. Maybe don't carry a torch. Okay, there's a giant here. Okay, nice. Oh, I have a terrible idea. Oh, he's 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 a mean mugging me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We get the giant's attention. <laughs> Step one. Oh, Mistfire, bless me. Ah, we're cool. He's cool, Stemvar. Uh, so Masinka lives over here. Would you mind if I just, like, pass by? Is that cool? Are we good on that? No? Okay. Well, what if we invite a Centurion to play with you? Alright. Come on out, Centurion! Alright, Stemvar, this way, this way, this way. Alright. Let's face a giant in battle, and this one we will actually have to f slay at our level, so that's gonna be fun. Ugh. Oh boy. Okay, as long as he has something else to focus on, that's not me. <gasps> as long as he has something to focus on, that's not me! Whoa, okay, he missed. Big ol' whiff. Ugh. Whoa! Sadly, Stanvar is standing down there to fight with the Centurion, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to bring the Centurion up, because I can't imagine a giant and a Centurion being in the same faction. So that's that's a, that's not good. Alright, Stanvar might get knocked down by the Centurion, though, which would be good, because then the Centurion could chase me outside here, because I need to use every trick in the book if I want to get through this, I'm fairly sure. So let's summon... <laughs> flamey, 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 where's Flamey? Where's Flamey? Where did Flamey go? Where did my flamey go? Oh, the Centurion's out! Okay, this is what I wanted. Why am I complaining? Mistfire, bless me. Oh, Stemvar's back. Gosh darn. Okay. Centurion, come on over, boy! Okay, good. Good, good, good. Check this out. Check this out. I'm about to introduce these two. <gasps> oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We can actually level up now! Oh, that's gonna be so sweet. That's gonna be so sweet. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, Mr. Giant, Mr. Centurion, have you guys met each other? Is that aimed at me or him? Are they hostile? Mr. Fire, bless me. Oh, he keeps coming back. <gasps> boop, 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 boop. Ow! Uh, so, you know what? Level up. Give it to me. How many levels? We're gonna go health. We're gonna go health. Mm, we're gonna go health. We're gonna go health. 18! Oh boy! I have not thought about what I want here. Whew. Okay. 
Okily dokily. Block. Blocking is more effective. That's always cool. Time slows down if you're blocking during an enemy's power attack. I'm not sure if I want that just yet, actually. One-handed. Ooh, something fun, by the way. And by fun, I mean infuriating. I need to stop believing the text here, because that's not how it works. It says, arrows that hit the shield do no damage. So my, in my head, I'm like, oh, so if I block, I don't take any damage. Well, duh, you're an idiot. That's not how it works. It's pretty complicated based on what perks you have, but essentially we're still gonna take some damage even when blocking arrows. It helps, but it's not like gonna cancel them out. It's a whole thing. One-handed though. Attacks with axes cause extra bleeding damage. I think we're mostly gonna stay blunt, which is why attacks with maces ignore 25% of armor. I have been informed that very few things actually wear armor, so it's not necessarily gonna be all that good. Fighting stance. Power attacks with one-handed weapon cost less stamina. We're gonna need to get this as we move up here. Standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. <laughs> yes. One had a power attack while sprinting, that does double critical damage. Oh man. We're, we're, go we're gonna go all out, we're gonna go beast mode here. Dual wielding, that's not really gonna be me. Kinda just, maybe I just do armsman and... All right, we'll do critical charge as well. I'm just going full one-handed here, just so we can be more of a, a, a strong boy, as they say. <gasps> and they are fighting. This is beautiful. Mistfire, bless me. Let's get in here. Udush. And Stenvar's here too. Flame is not that far away. Okay, okay. That attack's not aimed at me. All right. I think the giant's gonna win out in a battle against the Centurion, which means I need to be on the Centurion's team here. And attack the giant as much as... <gasps> oh! Uh, I underestimated the power of the giant. Why? <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> this giant is so much stronger than the centurion. Okay. Okay. He turned around like it was nobody's business. I need to mind the centurion's health here. Alright. Alright. And there he's down. Okay. Excellent. Where's Flamey? Flamey's nowhere to be seen. What if I spawn Flamey here? Okay, now Flamey's over there. Mistfire, bless me. Alright, we got the Centurion down at least. With some help. Okay, he seems a little confused. He seems so... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get him. I'm gonna do some staggers here. I don't have infinite stamina, but I have some. So I'm gonna play it super smart with the way I block. And I'm also going to actually use some of my stamina potions, seeing as I have so many of them. Really ought to have hotkeyed some more of those. Okay, then we're gonna do potion of minor stamina. Alright. Just keep keep him uh, occupied. There we go. The reason I want to keep him occupied is that's so that he can't do exactly what he just did to Stembar. It's fine though, the giant is low on health. The giant is low on health, we'll have him any second now. <gasps> I get to finish him. I get to finish the freaking giant! Oh, please die, please die, please! All under control. Man, Stenvar, you beast! That was... Giant's Toe, 200 golds. Overall. Fairly good. Fairly good. And the Centurion. Fall of Amethyst, some arrows. Excellent! That should pretty much be the last enemies that I know of in Blackreach. God, I'd hate to leave yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get out of here just so Stembar will stop spouting those lines, to be honest. Up there is the city that we've cleared. We've gone through the War Quarters, Reeking Tower, Silent Ruin. The only thing that really remains now is to discover... The Great Lift! At Masinka left. Whoosh. Let's go! And then let's wait with the elevator music playing. And Great Lift at Masinka left discovered. Nice. What? What's that? Combat already. Oh, there's so many ice raids lately. Not a fan, but. Misfire, bless me. We should have some more powers now. We can decapitate our enemies, okay? I have a new goal. Decapitate somebody. So we're gonna do more damage with our weapon, which is always... Oh, did you see that swing? 
Especially with veggie soup, we're gonna be able to do constant critical charges. Whoa! Oh, that's kind of a lame move. All right, that's fine. Oh, he's he's don't don't focus on me. Focus on my companions. It's more of a fair fight, you see, because I'm just too powerful for you. So you should fight someone your own level. Yeah, yeah. And let's bring this freaking wraith down, shall we? Don't you, don't you go anywhere. Excellent. I wanted that. Where are we in the world? Ah, this is not too far from Dawnstar, so we can basically see how far Blackreach spawns, or, or stretches, rather. Masinka left is here, Tower of Masark is here, Ralbathar is here, and Alftan is here. So this whole area we've traversed underground, which is pretty crazy. Okay. Excellent. But... I want to go back down, because we got to actually explore Masinkalef's gatehouse. Because when we went over to Raldbathar, there were some pretty nice loot chests. And by nice loot chests, I mean absolute monstrosities that contained 14 gold. But still, there might be a chance of treasure in here. I don't think we can go through Masinkalef from the, from the bottom. But still. Oh, it's, it's like that, huh? Well... Alright. But... We've been there. We can now say there's nothing to see. With that, guys and girls, Blackreach is cleared. All we're missing is one boss battle. Once we become Dragonborn, then we will return here, but... Oh, look at that. It's snowing in Blackreach. I don't think this is supposed to happen, but it does let us see all the way. And honestly, we need to admire the view right here. Everything we have done. It's been a trial, okay? Both for me playing and for you watching. Struggling around in the dark, beating things that are stronger than us. No veggie soup during the latter parts. But we got through. I'm so happy we did. <sighs> With that firmly squared away, our sights can be set on starting a new chapter. Over there is the Tower of Masark. <laughs> it's snowing in Blackreach. <laughs> ah... More like white reach by the time we're... Okay. We went down there by the lake, and that's where all of that bad stuff went down. A couple of crimson urn roots that have still been hiding away from me. I want to actually exit by Alfton's lift. Over there is Raldbathar. Man, it's so much easier to navigate when you can actually see stuff. It's funny how that works, huh? That's the centurion we did on the bridge. We've been across the middle section here as well. I believe this is around the... Yes, this is where the Chorus first attacked me. Okay. Whew. Nice. So, here's the battle plan. I want to leave <laughs> Blackreach through the Great Lift at Alfton. Because that's going to take us up to the chest with our loot. Right now, we need to face the looting problem. The fact that we've stashed away stuff all over the world in chests that should be safe, but I still don't like the fact that, like, across six chests around Skyrim are sometimes essential unique items that I can't get anywhere else. I want to stash them away somewhere safe, I want to get an overview over it, and that's what we gotta do. But first, we're gonna need a house. To get a house, we need to talk to the Thane of Falkreath. To get to Falkreath, we need to get to Windhelm. So... My idea is, I take all of the loot. Right, the Great Lift is over here. I don't need the Great Lift, I just need the regular lift, actually. That's gonna take me closer. The idea is that I take all the loot from Alftan, in that chest. I bring it with me to Windhelm, over Encumbered, which is gonna be an interesting trial. And then once I have it in Windhelm, I put it in the dresser at the inn, along with my other loot, just so it's all condensed into one area that's easy to reach, you know, by a carriage. Even though we obviously can take a carriage from Falkreath and other, other such places. And then, we sadly can't take the carriage while over encumbered, but it'll be there. And then we're gonna head over to Falkreath, get our house, and things are gonna slowly start snowballing a little bit. Hopefully, in regards of looting. Once we unlock more locations with carriage, we just... Keep bringing stuff back to our place, because we can actually get a carriage to take us straight home as well. Once we build a carriage driver and all of that. But this is probably going to be quite heavy, I think. 
I was loud. Uh, I was just 900 weight. It's no biggie. I got this. I got this. Okay. <sighs> Windhelm. How far is Windhelm? Well, it's not, you know, it's not that bad. Cannot fast. That's not what I'm trying to do, buddy. I'm trying to set like a... Mm, Alright. I'll have to do. I would actually like to stop by the farms as well, because I would like some leak. So I'm going to move my marker over there. We're essentially going to head down through Wayward <laughs> Okay, but we have been on this road. It shouldn't be many enemies. Also, thankfully, you guys are giving me some tips on how best to travel. So we're going to equip a dagger. Like Borvir's magical dagger right here. I'm going to Mistfire Bless Me. And then uh, we're just going to get going. Now, it might not be super interesting to see me travel like this. But don't you worry. Because I will... Oh, uh, use my stamina. I'll cut it out, or rather, I will speed it up. Except for the fact that I will now have to fight while over encumbered, because of course now there's a freaking red guard, huh? Luckily, I've never heard of a good red guard warrior. <laughs> Ooh! That was a joke, by the way, and I'm about to pay for that joke <laughs> dearly, because I can't. <sighs> oh boy, what do I do? Yeah, like I die. I die. Okay, well that went well. Okay, so firstly, let's keep an eye on the horizon, because I could actually see the red guard over there, I just wasn't really paying attention. Secondly, I'm gonna summon somebody. <laughs> I need friends, okay? Nice, I just need to get her attention. Okay. Dwarven bow. Is that gonna automatically equip arrows? Okay, it is. There we go, excellent. Duke it out! I don't want Falmer arrows on my back. Yuck. Alright, you go get them! Any day now. Oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna need Borber's... Borber's dagger on hotkey here. Nice. Redguard shouldn't be too tough to handle, but... Misfire, bless me. I can go in. Yeah, just in case. I do deal a bit more damage with my one-handed now. That's nice. Tomorrow. Oh, don't look at... Why does she keep targeting me? Don't! I'm just gonna stay at a distance now, I think. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Also, flame me, why are you useless? Thank you. Alright, speaking of flee, that's what I want to do right about now. Come on, you guys got her! Okay. I can't bother her too much, because she'll get mad at me. But I'll bother her a little. <laughs> Alright, I can get, I can take her now. I don't have to fear her. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Excellent. Man, was I brave in that. her head! I wanted- I decapitated a fierce red guard warrior while over encumbered. Let that be known. Her head rolled all the way down the hill. That is beautiful. Oh, dude, clean cut too. With a mace! How do you decapitate someone with- you gotta have a lot of heft. Alright. Well then- ah, oh, actually I'll need this. Misfire, bless me. Let's try this again. <sighs> Alright. So it's all about having that timing so that I get the maximum boost without consuming stamina. Alright. Okay. Let the journey begin. With a one, two, zoom! Um, okay. It's just two saber cats fighting a mammoth. It's fine. I'm just over encumbered, you know? This, I, I'm perfectly equipped to, I mean, the Mammoth's gonna win, so we'll be fine, I think. Right? Oh, this sucks. Alright, if they come any anywhere close to me, I'm gonna battle cry. Oh yeah, let's, 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 let's avoid that Mammoth. Okay. Oh boy. Stenbart, Stenbart, we're not gonna fight the Mammoth. There we go. 
All right, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna go. Mammoth didn't attack me, and I should feel very blessed that it didn't. All right, the journey goes on. So one, two, zoom. Oh, hello. Got I something you're supposed to deliver to me. My hands only. Deliver. Your hands only. Yeah. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. That. Did you add anything to my inventory? I didn't see a prompt that I got anything. Letter from Septimus Cygnus. Oh, that right there is why we completed that stage of discerning the transmundane. All for that piece of paper right here. Just a little sad. Return you quickly to Septimus. The fractals of the universe have opened onto me, and I see now the way clear to render the cube's upper aperture. Your most good assistance is needed in the foremost. Yes, that's how I'm gonna start writing letters. All right, good old Septimus needs us. We'll do that eventually, considering the next stage of the quest is the um, blood gathering, I think, where I need to gather blood from the different races of Tamriel. That's something we can start next time I'm up near Winterhold, but honestly, I've had enough of this general area of Skyrim. I feel like I've traveled it so much, I know the roads, I know the layouts. Who's that? Is that a is that a kitty cat bandit looking to rob me? I think so. Oh boy. I wonder if I can outrun him, but I don't think I can. Oh no. Yeah. Alright. No. Your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. Look at this smooth slide. Okay. Oh. Do I look like I have any money? Yes, actually. Oh, okay. You look like you are lousy with gold. I am not going to ask again. I don't have time for this. Ow! <laughs> Step bar! Please! We need to get away from the kitty cat man! Okay. Excellent. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's get our good friend Flamey up in here. Oh, this poor thief. Messing with us. Mr. Fire, bless me. Wow, look at that. So it's really the dagger that has that quickness. Everything else is pretty slow. Ah, at least we can still fight. Bash him. Bash him goods. Who's gonna get the blow? There we go. It's all mine. You robbed anybody else? Flawless garnets and lockpick. Oh, mage hoods. Now we're good. All right. Good job, Stembar. Always oh, stare at a... What? Oh boy. Oh, that almost last flamey. That would have been bad. But it's okay. We're almost at the city now. So the thought is I want to step inside quickly just to stash away all of my stuff. At least a good, a good chunk of my stuff. I need to determine what I want to bring with me. Actually, I could do a selling spree in Windhelm. Ooh, that would actually be pretty smart, do a selling spree of... But then again, I'm not quite sure what I want to sell yet, but I do have a lot of gems and stuff. Maybe I should... Bodyguard? Who are you the bodyguard of? Hold on. Hey, you! Oh, it's not very helpful. Whoever he was guarding is probably dead, considering he is by himself. Oh, you should never see a bodyguard alone. That's when you know they messed up. Okay. I want to take the carriage, but obviously we can't take the carriage because we're encumbered. I also want to stop by the farm. Yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of time in Windhelm, I think. Just very briefly buying some vegetables, seeing if, if I can make some vegetable soups. <laughs> Stash away some goods, sell some goods. You know, get a little bit of cash going. Yeah. Stash away the stuff, and then I can come out, raid the farms, take a carriage to Falkreath. Oh, and that's going to be wonderful. All right. Come on, zoom! And we're back. We haven't really completed quests for anybody here, so... I'm pretty much just gonna go straight to Candle Hearth Hall with a dagger, swinging wildly. Yep, don't worry, just pass it through. Oh, of course, and we're going straight to the singing. My favorite part of this whole place. <sighs> yeah, we have a couple of things stored away here. All right, let me just sort my bag and my thoughts. Okay, so Stenvar is currently carrying all of my enchanted gear, 
because those are things I wish to sell off since I'm not collecting randomly enchanted gear. Let's go. The dresser contains pretty much everything else, and I'm traveling with essentially just the necessities and the things I want to bring with me south. This so. is an ode to Skyrim's truest sons and daughters. No. The no. Okay, let's let's go before she starts talking about Skyrim's true sons and daughters, the Stormcloaks. We are gonna go to the market. Yes, actually, Nils, you're the chef. Now they probably haven't restocked any leaks around the around the place. I imagine. I don't know how long we've been gone, but. Fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. All right, here we go. Niranye. I don't haggle. If what do you got for sale? Junk. Me, I call them treasures. Oh, treasures. Hmm. Baked potatoes. Uh, have, you, have you heard about leek? They're pretty good. Spell them of healing. We'll get that eventually. All right, you got a little, uh, a little bit of gold. I'll sell you what I can. I'm going to sell iron armor of destruction. Now, I've decided not to sell any gems because I want to be a higher speech level before I sell off my gems since they don't really take up any space and I want to get the best deal for them that I can since that can be uh, spicy. That's ex uh, essentially what we're going to do there. Now, you only have 99 golds. You know what? I'm going to give you a great deal on this circlet. There you go. Aren't you lucky? Thank you for your custom... Hillaby! Here's a man I'm glad to see. What do we got for That's sale? See here. We... Oh, come on, come on. Why? It's like the one thing you don't have. Leak. Ah. You disappoint me. Alright. Good day to you. I'm carrying around some of the other ingredients in the hope that My I'm gonna get leak. What do you got for sale? That sort of thing. You sure sicken me. All of you people sicken me. Alright. Let's go through the white file. Do you think they would buy anything? anything like. Alright, this is the place. The I'll good stuff. Have Master Norelian skill with potions. I know, I know. Norelian. The, what's so, for sale? You're interested in my potions and ingredients. Grilled leeks! <laughs> my man, come on, don't do me like that. Potion recipe, resist poison. I'll probably find it lying around. Man! Until Why next time. still standing around here? Go. What's in here? Vylandria's soul gem. Is that a quest cool. item? What is that for? Can I drop that? Ooh, maybe we should talk to... Wait, whoever is Vylandria? I have no idea. I just got a quest item that I don't know what to do with. Help! Somebody! What's this? There's a potion. Right, I said I wasn't going to steal from this place. There's lots of things here, but I'm going to do a proper thieving raid later on. But let's talk to the assistants. So, Norelian is dying and has sent us to find a, a cure in Forsaken Cave. Those moves were slick, man. I have, hey. I understand what potions do, but I don't always understand how they do it. Why do you work for Norelian? Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... he's not the best teacher, but just watching him, I've learned so much. Do you think the White File exists? It doesn't matter what I believe. Norelian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. Hmm. All right, then. All right, well, I just picked up a quest item, probably for a later quest stage. That's all good. All right, we got to sell off a little at her. We can go to the blacksmith, sell us some more. What do you got for sale? Excellent. This is what we want. Probably nothing. Uh, too interesting. All right. You, my good sir, are gonna buy my junk. Hide shields, iron shields, leather helmet of minor destruction, steel helmet of major alchemy. I could be breaking some of these down, but I'm not that interested in training enchanting just yet. I'm still careful about leveling, so I'd rather have some cash in my pocket right now, because I'll, I'll need to be buying, buying some stuff soon enough. We can always en disenchant stuff later on. And because we got to learn all enchantments. That's just part of the goal. All right, let's pick up some more of these that you just had lying around in your inventory. Excellent. Mr. Blacksmith, what do we got for sale? Oh, that's what they all say, my good sir. I'm going to sell the Imperial Sword of Draining, Hunting Bow of Frost, Iron War Axe of Fear, 
And you can also take... I want my Sanctified Orcish Mace, thank you very much. You can't have that one. The Reverend Steel Greatsword. You get for... there's a bargain bin deal. Excellent. If you meet anyone in your travels who needs good steel, send them my And I assume way. if Hermer could trade, she would just share the same stock as... Mr. War Anvil. Okay, excellent. We've gotten our hands on some more gold, sold off some of the junk that we do not want. And now we are getting ready to... to the parts. I do have some staffs here. I guess he doesn't buy staff. You know who would buy staffs? Ooh, I think that, that court wizard. Alright, let's, let's zoom to the court wizard. Go! <laughs> Alright, hey, are you sleeping on the... Oh, actually, just keep sleeping. Uh, we were gonna inspect your place the other day, but we didn't get to, because everybody just strolled in the room! How rude. You do have some cool stuff just kind of lying around. Some giant's toes. I got one of them myself now. Killed a giant, I did. Still- oh pfft. Are you seeing Stembor's moves? No, 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 no. Go away. Gosh darn. All right. Keep your hands Whatever you yourself. heard I can do is probably true. What do you got for sale? Take a look. There we go. This is what we're after. Now I can begin to sell off some of these. Okay, let's sell off the ones that aren't worth much, just so I get them out of the way. Uh, one of the staffs of fury. Minor staff of turning, you'll get that too. Forest steel, my good sir. He's gaping. <laughs> it's such a good deal. Strength and steel are <laughs> Excellent. well good, but okay. magic. With that, I move your. Are we really gonna do this? Thank you. I wonder where the kitchen is. If there's a place to ever have leak, it should be the kitchen, right? Is that frost salt on the table? Is that like? Do you can you like sprinkle some frost salts on your meal? Is that? Hmm. Cooking. That's, that's an interesting culinary idea, actually. What's in that? No. All right. That's not what I, Okay. I just need a couple of leak, okay? I don't want to keep going on. Uh, 2920, volume 03, first seed. Good year. Or do you have to patrol? Again, I mean, I guess that's your job, huh? All right. First seeds. Argonian account, book one. I look forward to reading those books. For real. Lost Legends. Fairly sure we've actually... Read that one and started a quest, so I'm not gonna pick up another one of those. Okay. Okay. Knights of the- <gasps> Yes! We didn't get the copy of Knights of the Nine that could be located in the Hall of the Vigilant, because I didn't have a follower, because Sven was dead and I was carrying around his body. Nice. Very good, I did want to collect a copy of that. Uh, what do we got around here? Not much. I'm basically just looking for Lee. Let me guess. I think so this is the chef right here. Sweet. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. <laughs> do you now? All I need are a couple of leeks. Oh, <gasps> yes. Grilled leeks. Why do they grill them? And why does the fact that they're grilled mean I can't do fun things with them anymore? All right, I'm just going to take some of these away with me. Okay. Another potion of minor stamina. Again, is that strange to have on the dinner table? All right, all right, all right. Oh, <gasps> got him. Windhelm Barracks, that's probably not the kitchen. I don't think those boys cook up a... Oh, yes! <gasps> it's been so long since I've seen a good leak. The cake and the diamonds. Oh, man, am I happy now. It's It was a single leak. But it's it's a huge one small step for leak. A giant leap for the vegetable soup. As they all say, some cabbage. Carrot. I'm I'm pretty much just going on a veggie soup hunt. Those are the ingredients I care about. <gasps> like tomatoes. Oh, just a couple of leek. Are leek rarer? They, they might actually be rarer. Or we're just being very unlucky. But these sacks right here, Miss Fur, bless me. Just in case somebody comes in at the wrong time, you know, I don't want to have to murder anybody <laughs> over a couple of leek. That would. <laughs> that's a lot of hassle. For not a lot of payout. Okay, we're back. I ran out of hard drive space. Hopefully I didn't lose too much, but 
Yes, we're continuing on uh, raiding this place. I think that's all the leak, so I'm just really gonna make myself a vegetable soup and get out of here. It's time to wrap up today's adventure. It's time to actually leave the north. I have no more desire to stay here. I've gotten a lot done. We have lost friends, gained friends, gained immense power, lots of loot. We now have a comfortable amount of cash. And we did get a letter from the Jarl of Falkreath, if you do remember. And he seems interested in giving us some more tasks to see if maybe we could become Thane. And that is going to be our next big goal, because once the Jarl begins to trust us, he's going to let us build a house. And once we have a house, we can start storing things away, so we don't have to run into the same issues that we have now in regards to loot. But before we go, I do still have some enchanted gear in my inventory, so... Oh, there, it was just phasing into existence. I do wonder something. If we were to go to the Khajiit... All for sale at fair prices. Oh, we'll see about that. I welcome you fr Hey. Oh. What have you got for sale? We are essentially gonna sell off. Staff of Fury is probably getting too weak now. Staff of Flame Matronach is fun, though I keep forgetting to use it. Sanctified Orcish Mace. Hmm. I mean, I don't really need the Grand Staff of Repulsion when I have the Sanctified Orcish Mace. What am I thinking about? Oh, it's really expensive, though. Do I have something more... Maybe I could sell off some of the circlets here. I'll sell off some of the circlets, actually. And then we can keep the staff. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be fun. May your road lead you to warm sands. Warm sands, indeed. Aye. My good sir, take me south. Need a ride? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Take me to Valkyrith. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You betcha. I don't think I'm gonna stop by the farms. What's the point? It's not like there's any leak out there, right? Not that any of it has respawned anyway. It's mostly wheat and... You know what? I just don't care. Like, I'm fine. I'll, I'll get leak somewhere else. Silly. Take me. Oh. There once was a hero uh, he's singing. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be a long trip, huh? But we can fast travel. Well, fast travel. We earned that carriage ride. I used to be an oh, and it's Dead raining on my parade. I won't let it get me down, though. Stenvar, welcome to Falkreath. We're finally back. Oh, I've gained so much. I've learned so much. And now it's time we pay the Jarl a visit. Guys and girls, thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this first arc of the adventure. We're about to transition into a new arc when we seek Thandom here in Falkreath. We are free of the level restriction shackles and we've earned this freedom, okay? We can go where we want, do what we want, and that's exactly what we're going to start doing in the next episode. So, have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody... Stay dark. Goodbye.